kind of ethnic and cultural groups with conflicting interests is not a very good idea in a state. It creates problems of governability and management which further hampers progress and development of the area as a whole. You have examples, um, other examples coming up like Borderland and in Assam and Gorkhaland. So, you mean rather than have a regional council, it's better to have a separate state of Telangana? Yes, they should yeah, be I there, yeah. So. Because it gives the ethos to that people, give oh, them the right, you know, right culture and right uh, st state stage to come up. Now, you must have read that one of the justices of the Andhra Pradesh High Court, uh, Narasimha Reddy, he criticized uh, the Sri Krishna report stating that it went beyond the terms of reference and that uh, you know the, the method adopted or some of the recommendations are a threat to democracy. How would you react that to that? That is probably overstated. Uh, uh, it is more of rhetoric. I do not think there is a threat to democracy by these things. But more pertinent fact is that uh, as long as Rayal Seema and coastal Andhra are bent upon resisting the creation of Telangana, I do not see that Telangana can be foisted again on, on this viewpoint, or this opinion. These people, it has to be a result of a consensus. And uh, this council seems to be a viable solution which should be acceptable to practically all concerned. That is my feeling. But it, whether it, it, uh, the consensus is brought about or not, I do not know. I do not think a consensus will come about from the Telangana region on a, on a regional council. And the main issue is that whether the council would be really empowered because the historical experiences say that many councils have been uh, appointed like Dorkhaland council. It did not really work. So, that is also... Is Telangana Regional even, Council an answer? Uh, uh, in fact, uh, 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 Telangana Regional Council is not answer. If you want to create a state, then you should have a separate state. Because Telangana Regional Council will dilute the powers of the state and it will be a great threat to the federal structure itself. You know how? Because uh, you are creating states within the states. And uh, autonomous regions autonomous with the different powers like uh, it is happening in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, it is happening in Gorkha land. Uh, you give some powers to a region or uh, two districts, three districts, then it will be an endless process and it will go and, uh, on and on. Since you there talked about uh, West Bengal and the, the Gorkha areas, uh, I think there is a demand now, uh, there has been a demand for Gorkha land, but I, you know, there is some kind of an agreement which is taking place at the yeah. Ipartite agreement, yeah. whereby a Gurkha land territorial administration is to replace yes. the hill council. So, you do not think that is a workable arrangement? Yes, it is not a workable arrangement. Yeah, I feel, also, I yes. feel, I feel, you know, what is happening <coughs> is these small states, there are only two districts, uh, the Arjunik district and Kalampong district and some other areas. These two districts will constitute this uh, Gorkha. Uh, territorial administration. Kamtapuri area also. And Kamtapuri. Kamtapuri. Siliguri yeah. too. Ah. Siliguri no, not yet decided. Siliguri not yet decided. But what they are doing is 60 uh, odd, odd yeah. departments, subjects, they, have been, they are being transferred to the Gorkha uh, territorial administration. And uh, there, where the revenue will come to sustain this uh, uh, smaller entity, 200 crore rupees every year will be given by the central government for three but years. That, but that is only for Achha. three years. Yes. For Achha, three that years. reminds me. No, no, it's not it, that does not uh, make it sustainable. Because uh, if this, uh, again I put the same thing, if this keeps on happening, then there are demand already, there are 10 pending demands of uh, making separate states with the central government. Yeah. So, this way every state and sub-state and sub-region and um, a mini mini school groups, they will demand for the separate states or separate uh, hill councils and kind of ad ar arrangement, then where will be the state authority? Ashutosh, do I you agree with I, that? I just wanted to add because, two points yes. so, very quickly. One, this economic viability. Sri so, Krishna Committee report has said it very clearly that with Hyderabad or without Hyderabad, Telangana would be economically viable. And it, it, Telangana has <coughs> caught up, you know, Telangana has developed. In fact, Rayal Sima is far less developed than Telangana. So, that, that issue is taken care of. Telangana can take care of itself if it is created as a separate state. Second thing about this state within a state, I do not understand what is this state within a state. You know, it is just like a kind of regional arrangement which can be worked out provided there is a political will. If provided so, there so is you do not think having a Gorkha land territorial administration will weaken the state of West Bengal? No, no, no way. I think I go by uh, what Professor Puri said that, you know, this kind of arrangement would be best because there is a lot of, there is a civil war like situation in Andhra Pradesh. 
you know like if you create like Hyderabad position what would be the status of Hyderabad that's a key issue because in Hyderabad most of the people who have invested they are from Royal Siman coastal mostly from coastal Andhra so that would be a real problem that if you create right now I'm saying right now time is of essence if you create there could, be, there could today, be many more many more demands there would be many more no there would be a kind of civil war like situation you know like Andhra Pradesh is a state where you don't get, if you are from Rahal Sima region, you don't get job in Telangana. You may be knowing it. Class 3, class 4 job you don't get. You know, you have to belong to the region to get the class 2, class 3 job. So, there is already a kind of structured thing, right? Even admission, you know, I have been to Osmania University, it's almost like Telangana. All the students, teachers, there is a kind of division. Absolutely. You know? Since you are running out of time, yeah. uh, <laughs> Professor Shukla, uh, tell me. Uh, going beyond these two regions, the Telangana region and the West Bengal region, do you think we need smaller states and possibly even smaller districts? I believe in, in that argument definitely because I feel that economics is not the only criterion for the concept of deepening of democracy or you know federalization or reshaping of federalism in the country it is just one of the things and economic viability will come automatically you know as time passes because first it has to be political uh, support from the center and then only the cultures can develop and second thing which i want to bring to your notice is the concept of vnd which has been mentioned uh, by professor puri yes. and uh, dr ashutosh which is based on the earlier theory of sons of soil tons of toil theory so when you have that then the economic result comes. So, first comes the political will and to be followed by the economic which emerges from the zest of the people living in that area. Professor Puri, with your experience of this region, uh, are smaller states uh, better governed? Not really. You see, you can, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. Uh, you, you see, uh, in certain places, it, uh, it is a remarkable success. Okay. Uh, closer to at hand, the Haryana region could not develop in unified Punjab yeah. as it were and look now it has left Punjab behind. Yeah. There, therefore, yeah. it, it much can be, it, it depends upon the circumstances and the quality of leadership. So, I, I think merely a smallness of an area is no guarantee. Uh, now, the sure. other thing at the heart of the Telangana matter is also the status of the city of Hyderabad. Yes. yes. Some people have been suggesting yes. that it should be Unit declared territory. a unit territory. Yes. Yes. With the experience of Chandigarh, yes. should Hyderabad be declared a unit territory? I would be one for that. <laughs> yes. Definitely. I would be one for it. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Because it becomes less contentious and much of the argument sort of goes over it. And it is Similar demand was for Spra Bombay also, sir. No, Bombay, Bombay should be turned into India. Yeah, because, <laughs> because it's beneficial and more convenient. You know, huh? there is a kind of <laughs> elitist design also. Elitist yeah, design, yeah. you know. That, uh, but fact, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people in Punjab and Haryana would not agree with your... Uh, I'm quite sure, yes. Surmise yes. on Chandigarh. For reasons of their own. Absolutely. Professor yeah. <laughs> Asurosh, uh, in your article in the Economic and Political Weekly, yeah. you made out a case for a new state's reorganization commission. Yeah. What should be the basis of uh, the carving out of or redrawing of the states? I think it should be on the basis of, uh, the, it should be on the development uh, basis, development, better governance, decentralization. And I also s feel <coughs> that there should be consensus, as Professor Puri has been saying, that there should be broad consensus about such demands. And there should be a consistent policy. It's not like Telangana, there is some problem in Telangana, Osmania University is on fire, so you go for this. Or there is a problem, or Rahul Gandhi says about Bundelkhand, you go for Bundelkhand. There should be a consistent policy. You have already the certain center state relations, Justice Munchi is the heading. So you have interstate council also. Uh, th all those constitutional mechanisms, they should be activated and there should be a thorough thinking about uh, the whole issue. And I am not afraid, unlike uh, Professor Khalid, I am very much in favor of smaller states because I think the smaller states are better governed, they are likely to be better governed, not sure, not in Provided all they are financially viable. Yeah, financially yeah. viable. The you see, yes. the cohesion of the social fabric is much easily acquired, attained in a smaller area rather than a spread out area. Yeah. I mean, geographic fact. Yes. And the interaction which give, provides the sinews for development. Absolutely. Professor Kale, just before we close, last word from you. Yeah. Is it time to have a, a fresh states reorganization commission? And I told you yes, that in what, are, what should are, be the basis? We are in for a grand reorganization very soon. But the state should not be very large. 
so that certain areas remain totally undeveloped and they are not looked yeah, at and it they should not be very small so that uh, only they can sustain on the grants and aid from the Especially central government the but will that not open the pandora's box uh, in any case we are in for a pandora's box <laughs> Right. Thank you very much for joining us in the discussion. Persistent and increasing demands for creation of new states is a pointer to the current federal system being unable to meet the aspirations of the people. Present times of geopolitical churning perhaps indicate that it is time to look at factors other than just language while creating or redrawing the state boundaries. Key principles that have emerged are good governance, development, and financial viability of states. With that, we end this edition of Prime. We meet again tomorrow with another issue. Good luck and goodbye.